we are talking cardiovascular health and energy levels today. Our natural health guests from Health 2000's Good Health range of products, Vanessa Fusich, joins me in the Harvey Normal Lounge. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mel. Lovely to have you back in the Thank studio. You. So cardiovascular health, are we just talking about the older age groups? No, you would think so, but it does affect sort of the middle aged as well. Um, CoQ10, when we're younger, our bodies naturally make a lot of it. Um, but as we age, it starts to naturally decline, probably from sort of the ages between 40 and 60. Um, and from then on, things like ageing, stress, certain medications and conditions mean that we need higher amounts of CoQ10. Okay, so what exactly is CoQ10? Yeah, I know, because a lot of people say, mm, I never heard of that. Um, so CoQ10 stands for coenzyme Q10, and our body actually naturally makes it. It's like a vitamin-like substance that we make, and we make it because it provides energy to our body and our cells, so we can carry out our functions such as our heart beating and our muscles pumping. But we do need a little bit of help when we get older. And you brought along these products from House 2000. Yes, that's right. So Good Health have CoQ10. They have it in two forms. They have 150 milligrams, but also 300 milligrams, which is a high dosage for those people on certain medications or for certain, with certain health conditions. Okay, so what's actually in it? So it's obviously CoQ10. Mm -hmm. um, now, CoQ10 is actually not well absorbed. It's a fat-soluble substance, which means it's better absorbed when we have a bit of fat with it. So Good Health have formulated it it with in a base of fish oil but with the 300 milligrams we've also added in their bioperine which is black pepper now black pepper in clinical studies has also been shown to really help with the absorption of CoQ10 into our bodies better. Oh wow. Um, we've also got in there vitamins D and E because they're both very important for a healthy cardiovascular system and they also help to recycle the CoQ10 in the body. So how does it work? Okay, it's a little bit like adding petrol to a car. CoQ10 is needed for the production of energy in the body. So um, we have in each cell in our body a component called mitochondria. Mm -hmm. Now it sounds complicated, but the mitochondria are there just to provide energy for our cells to work properly. Now CoQ10 provides fuel for those mitochondria to work. So if we don't have enough CoQ10, those mitochondria are not able to produce energy for those cells to work efficiently. Wow, you've actually explained that really well. Thank you. That made sense to even me. Oh, so, so what kind of improvements in our health would we notice if we're taking CoQ10? So most people say that they notice they feel more energised, that they have less fatigue and less muscle aches and pains. Now, some people generally say that this is because they may be on certain medications that is stopping their body from making the CoQ10 or causing a slight deficiency, in which case if you do suspect or think there is a slight deficiency or you're on certain medications, you can talk to your healthcare professional. Okay, great advice. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Always a pleasure. My pleasure. And Vanessa has brought along products for everyone in the audience today. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they're great, we should get them back in again. They're available at Health 2000 stores. Just ask their friendly staff to point you in the right direction.